1200 watts, leverage the benefit of the HHO and being able to run it a little bit leaner. Starting. I would like to point out this is about 34 amps, 35 amps. This should be roughly two liters a minute, two and a half liters a minute. Yeah, about 2.5 liters a minute. I'll measure that shortly. And I do apologize, I know you can't see that analog clock face. And mark, 48 seconds, 49 seconds. All right, so about the same. Refill it one more time. Close the choke up just a little bit. Two seconds. Wow, that definitely was not as good. So I am able to leverage the benefit of the HHO by running it a little bit leaner. That is for certain. Okay. That's all the way open. And I'm measuring again. on the generators, 11 amps at 120 volts. We'll do the math later. stop. 49 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, we're almost back to 50 seconds, which is the amount of time it took to deplete this gasoline before I added the load of the HHO generator. At the very least, this is a break even. Okay, I've removed the load. running just the five amps from the heater and I'll take another measurement running all right now you'll notice I had to make the choke a little bit richer to compensate for the absence of the HHO to allow the engine to run to run at the proper mixture again this engine has always run a little bit too lean without the without the addition of a choke. And there is no adjustment screws on it, unfortunately.
52 seconds. Okay then, what have we learned? We learned that despite the inefficiency of the VS50M, I'm losing about 30% of my overall efficiency there. And despite the fact that the cell is only running at 5 MMW efficiency with the PWM, which is another 75%, so figure my total HHO production efficiency is only the total system is probably only about 60% efficient, maybe a little less than that. And with a system that's 60% efficient, I was able to return almost all of the energy on the gasoline combustion engine. If I did not have to use the VS50M and dissipate all that extra heat coming off of these heat sinks right here, such as in a car, on a car battery, I am convinced that this would be producing much better results. And unfortunately, the battery charger that I use isn't capable of delivering the amount of power that I need to uh, recharge the battery that I wanted to use for this experiment without tripping its own circuit breaker after a very short period. I am very pleased with the results of this experiment now I know for a certainty we are not on the wrong track. We can increase the total system efficiency by changing the properties of the gasoline combustion engine and the gasoline combustion process by injecting HHO on top of it even if that process in creating the HHO is not 100 percent efficient. We're not violating the laws of the conservation of energy and uh, all we are doing is changing the properties of the combustion process. That's it for now. I think, uh, I think this uh, satisfies my curiosity. Zero Fossil Fuel, signing out.